as I see it, there's three options that are real obvious to me. One is we can take your normal hormones and boost them up even higher, try to drive that system to produce a little bit more sperm so that enough starts to show up to give another try at in vitro fertility. On the other hand, correcting those varicose veins by, by making the blood flow through the normal ones and no longer flowing through the abnormal ones, that might increase your sperm production. But ultimately, that undescended testicle might be overriding all of this. And if we can't get more sperm to be produced by these techniques, there is a solution that will very likely allow you to have a child that is your own. And that technique is testicular sperm extraction. So I have a model here that can explain that, okay? okay. Uh, this is a model of the testicle. It's just slightly larger than mine. And what I'm going to do <laughs> is demonstrate the procedure. So using numbing medication, using anesthesia, the testicle is exposed, okay? It has a very smooth covering to it. And what we do is make an opening in that covering. And we go into that little opening and inside the testicles where the sperm is produced, and it's produced in these tiny little tubules. They're like tiny, tiny spaghetti, but they're hollow and they have the sperm inside. And we pull these tubes out, okay? So let's shift gears and take a look at this model. And what this is, is a lemon, but the cross section of the lemon is very similar to the cross section of one of these tubes under high power magnification. The rind is like the wall of the tube, the pulp, is the inner part where the sperm are forming. And these little seeds here are very much like where the sperm are in the center of the tube. And what we can do is, under a microscope, take out a single sperm. It can be injected right into an egg that fertilizes the egg. It becomes an embryo. The embryo is put back into the woman's womb where she becomes pregnant and then ultimately delivers a baby. And that's the in vitro fertility technology. So the next step for you now is to get into the hands of a male infertility specialist like myself. You're in Tennessee, I will make house calls, but there happens to be a world-class male infertility expert right in Knoxville. His name is Dr. Edward Kim, and he's at the University of Tennessee Department of Urology. I've spoken to him, and he is willing to see you for further evaluation and help you move along with this process. Thank you for coming. Oh, thank you. Justin, best of luck to Dr. Spitz. Thank you. My as pleasure. Always.